Welcome to Morning Messages. I'm Deborah. This is Purush Intuitive. If you've been following along, these are our weekend messages via the tarot and oracle. And they're meant to just be more heart honoring, encouraging, inspiring, and supportive. So with that in mind, I'm going to light some Palo Santo, bring in the good vibes, clear out the bad energy, give yourself a little smudge if you want to receive. All right, welcome to the day. It's beautiful here this morning. We had a crazy, crazy thunderstorm last night. I always enjoy them. They were fun, lots of lightning and thunder. It feels like things are being cleansed, being restored, which I feel like is much needed. This season, we're in Aries right now, and we actually have two new moons in Aries, which I think is pretty awesome because it feels like, you know, the first new moon we had are working through a lot of the chaos from the beginning of the year, the previous years. And we get to align with ourselves more and set our intention on a deeper level so that we can reset that intention. <laughs> the second new moon, new moons are about planting our seeds, what we want to manifest. All right, so let's get into it. I'm going to read out of the book. This is one of my favorite decks. The Druid Craft, and then this is the Druid Craft um, Oracle, the Plant Oracle. So we're starting off with flax. So flax is, if you know anything about flax seed, it's like a really powerful uh, seed. Essentially, it has a lot of really good omega threes for us. It's really vital for our body. If you are vegan, you know it can be an egg replacer. Um, but it's just, it's a really grounding, beautiful herb and plant. <laughs> um, and it's, I love this. It's all about ease, connection, and, um, you know, just kind of finding a little bit more fluidity in our life. Life is messy. It's hard. There's always going to be obstacles and challenges, etc. So much of it is about how we navigate through them. And this message has been coming through a lot lately. The more simplified we can make things, <laughs> the better. The easier it is for us, for our heart, especially when we're in those places of a lot of stress, anxiety, fear of the unknown. They're not fun and <laughs> they're not easy. And <laughs> I totally get it. Um, so it helps us communicate with, with each other. Um, it is, oh, it is the plant of the goddess. I love that. It's pointing to an important connection and communication in your life at the moment where we really need to connect kind of with our spiritual self, our dreams, you know, our intuitive messages that are coming along. That is what goddess energy, feminine energy is attached to. It's surrender, right? Taking that step back, carving out quiet time, reflection, meditation, love, all the things a great mama would do for you. <laughs> that's that's the energy of, <clears throat> excuse me, of the feminine. Um, synchronicities start to abound as we become conscious of the web and we can deliberately send positive influences and messages into the world, right? That law of manifestation. The more in alignment we are with ourselves, the more we know ourselves, the better we can position ourselves towards our goals, our dreams, having a fulfilling life. But when we're, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> my throat chakra is closing up. But when we, um, live a life of chaos or are very disconnected from that principle of knowing yourself, you know, we end up making a lot of choices that really don't honor who we are, what we want, what we need. So it's positive energy that we give out is reflected back to us, right? It's a mirroring effect, the law of attraction, 
An element of ease starts to enter our life and our relationships as we feel more and more in tune with the flow of life. Exactly what I was just saying. Sensing that we don't have, uh, that we do have a place in the web and it does sustain us all. I love that. That's such a powerful message because it's also the, the remembrance that we are supported and we are sustained. When we're focusing on the fear, the what ifs, the past, the future, what we could have done, what we should have done, etc. You know, yes, it distracts us from the present, obviously, but it's also this element of it, it constricts, it limits the flow, actually, because we're in the now, we're in the present moment. And when we disconnect from that, we don't know what we want, what we need. We end up making those choices based off of our fear, our anxiety, the things that aren't really true for us. So let's see how this shows up for us today. Yay, the chariot, so empowered. This is all about stepping into your power, being able to reign both the forces, the dark and the light. Doing so with control, with that element of stability and vitality. And that means, it doesn't mean like, go out and do all this stuff. It is Saturday, so maybe you will be. But it's also like finding a balance, knowing when you do need to take that step back to rest. Or you need some you time. You need to get, yeah, because things are messy with that tower. I think the tower popped up yesterday too. But it's just this, it's the chaos, it's the upheaval, the things that, you know, we are stepping away from or we don't want to be a part of. Standing true and honest in those spaces, even if you know the person on the receiving end or whatever is not going to like it, <laughs> you know. Not putting yourself in a place like submissive to authority is what I'm hearing with this King of Wands. King of Wands is Aries Leo Sagittarius. It's fire energy. It is someone who's very dominating and controlling. That's how their energy comes through this morning. And you are standing in your power as this chaos is happening with this individual who doesn't, who, ooh, who wants to control it, how it's going to go. A lot of cards popped out. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, five of swords and it was reversed. I don't really read reversals, but five of swords definitely has that energy of competition. I'm winning at all costs. I will get what I want. And that can, dealing with those kind of people can be a little um, unearthing, ungrounding, because it, it makes us feel like we have to give away our power or our control. Thankfully, we don't, you know. We just have to get in tune. Yeah, there's that anxiety right there. We just have to get in tune with what we actually want. We have to listen to ourselves. And it's easier said than done, right? Because this is the energy of sleepless nights, not really being able to hear your own internal voice. Especially with how it's all going to work out. When things are chaotic, whether our home, our business, our family life, there's a lot of fear how it affects the rest of our stability, right? But you have this new beginning, and I feel like this is such a huge gift coming in, the Ace of Pentacles. I've heard it referred to as the sun, which I totally love because it's such an abundant energy. It's, it is. It's the beginning of something beautiful, and it has so much potential. But I do feel like it's, you know, this King of Wands energy... It's very emotional about how things are going. They don't like it. Ooh, there's our sun right there. That's also governed by Leo. This to me, well, it's the temperance and the traditional deck, and it's all about, like, alchemy. 
there goes back to that manipulation. And I'm not harping on this person. I'm not saying they're behind closed doors doing black magic or, you know. Magic can be as simple as an intention we set and then we fixate on it. You know, that's just as much sending that out into the ethers as it is doing candle magic, a ritual, ceremony, etc. But I feel like they're having a little bit more clarity around the situation of what the truth of it actually is, that things are falling apart and they're headed in a new direction. And you feel confident and comfortable with how it's playing out. So they're looking, you know, they're watching, whether it's your social media, whether you see them on a daily basis, even a couple times a week, you know, they're watching, they're, they have their eyes on you, right? <laughs> um, you know, and I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's actually not a, like, I don't know. This is kind of like, it can go both ways. This energy has been coming up where we're getting stuck in a situation from the past or that we can't control, you know, those are really hard things that manifest in life when our hands are tied, we don't know what to do, etc. Some of this conflict or like preventing the conflict from happening, maybe you guys aren't talking about it, maybe there's not a lot of conversations, everything's left up to the ethers. Because this person looks at it like they have a lot of options and they got to figure out which one is the right one. And that's going to be the magic key. But I feel like for you, it's, you know, <laughs> you're all set on that, <laughs> right? It's not someone who is interested in what you want it's selfish pursuits, it's their own desires, it's it's not coming from a appropriate space is what I'm hearing. Because there is this opportunity for growth and evolution. There is an opportunity to heal this. And not saying it would look the same as it did before, I don't hear that. One, two, three, four on the clock as I pulled that up. But I feel like this person likes having the control. They don't want to let you go. They don't. I, I'm hearing that like they feel like if they do that, you're gone from them for forever. But not understanding that life can shift and change cycles. We all move through them. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> wah, wah. No. <laughs> it is kind of a bummer. I think like human nature, I think they say the brain doesn't really like change. We like to be in that comfortability. But sometimes it's force. Sometimes it's necessary and legit. When the tower happens, that's what needs to happen. It needed to go in this direction. And while I don't feel like you're you're trying to control it. I do feel like the anxiety, the fear is making you be a little, like maybe you're a little obsessive, maybe you're fixating on it, maybe the tapes play over and over and over again in your head, trying to figure it out. But there's only so much we can do. And that's where I feel like for you, there is this element of letting control, letting go of that. When I'm talking about control from your end, it's more about that needing to figure it out, right? That's usually what happens when we obsess or fixate on something. We're looking for a solution. But I don't think it's yours to do. I don't think it's your responsibility. I actually feel like you have to put your focus right on your own life and what you have going on. This person made their own mess, you know? It's going to, um, it's all gonna come to head eventually. 
because this person really wants to, like we've seen all throughout this reading, they do want that control. They want that feeling like they can dictate how it's all going to play out. But I feel like they also already know the answer, right? That they know that it's just a matter of timing. And we see that here with the Three of Wands. They're waiting patiently to see if they can change it, if they can try to figure out that secret way, <laughs> which I don't think it's good. well. Everyone has free will, right? It's a lot about knowing who you're dealing with, how the relationship was beforehand, and is that really something you want to do moving forward? There is a lot of guidance in this process, even if you don't feel like there's a lot of momentum in the actual situation. It's a blessing, right? You're getting messages and guidance in the in-between. And I feel like you need those, you know? Especially if this is an ex-romantic partner, someone that you have deeper connection with, a family member you really love, care about, etc. It's someone that is hard to say no to. But the <laughs> fact that it's taking a little bit longer to come to close, it's so that spirit can really help you see and understand why it is the way that it is. It's a blessing in disguise, you know, when that message comes through. Maybe you will get a message surrounding this today that kind of gives you some relief, even if it's like totally unrelated. You know, yeah, it's again, it's the more you close your eyes to that thing, the more empowered you find yourself today. And that really is the name of the game, right? Like, I love to bring the spiritual, the esoteric, the metaphysical down into the practical world. Like, how do we actually work with it in modern day? And that energetically, like we've talked about, you can't do anything as long as the situation is not moving forward, as long as there's not a conversation, as long as they're busy in the background trying to figure out how to get to you or communicate, etc. You can't dictate or control that, right? And honestly, putting more energy into that is actually just manifesting more of that into your life with that law of attraction, that's why it's so important and imperative to shift your focus into what you're creating, what you're building, the life that you're stepping into. And then you're going to watch it come in that much faster. <laughs> all right, guys. Happy Saturday. Enjoy. Sending all the love and blessings to whatever you're navigating. Definitely reach out if you want a personal reading or... Um, you know, little energy healing or wellness consult. I would love to support your empowerment in whatever way possible. Big thumbs up if it resonated. Drop comments below. Let's build and grow the community. All right, guys, lots of love. Thank you.